you asked and I deliver. So come and cook some aki and saltfish. Come no man. So today we're going to cook aki and saltfish. Your long request. I have the saltfish in the water, in a pot with water. It doesn't matter if the water is hot or cold when you put it on. Just put it in some water. Wash it first, depending on the amount of salt. Mine had a lot of salt. I got it off Amazon. A lot of salt in it. So I had to wash it off with cold water. I to add a cup of pimento seed and some garlic. Boil it for 10 minutes. Throw off that water. Leave the pimento seed and the garlic. Then add another water and boil it for another 10 minutes. And if it's still salt, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. If, it's salt, if your salt fish is too salt, I'm going to show you a little trick to get it less salty or sometimes totally unsalty. Then you have to add back a little salt. So this is a salt fish boiling. This is probably like two minutes. So the water, the water haven't even boiled as yet, but I wanted to show you guys. I put some, I, I put some pimento seeds in it and I put some garlic in it. So I'm gonna let this boil, just boil up good. You can cover it if you want, but if you cover it, you have to watch it. Probably even if you don't cover it, you have to watch it. So that boiled for like 15, 16 minutes. And I change the water, so this is a new water I put on. Make that boil for another 15 to 20 minutes. I'm doing something else, so it may go a little longer, but I think a good 15 minutes is okay. And then you can change the water a third time. But I'm going to just change the water twice because I know a way to get the salt out without boiling it so much. But at least this way I know it's kind of cured because when you get good salt fish, it has some breed of salt in it. And I have no need for eat that amount of salt. You have no need to eat that amount of salt. So, so the truth is, this has been boiling for like what? Um, about 30 minutes because I'm doing other things. I'm making dumplings. Because, because of course, if you're having ackee and salt fish, you have to have something to go with it. So I'm making some plantain dumpling and um, a piece of pumpkin and probably a plantain. I don't really love green boiled plantain. If I have ripe, I'll make that. But basically the point is I have to make something to go with it. So this has been boiling for like 35 minutes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drain off this water, rinse the salt fish, cut it up and then taste a piece and see if it's too salt for me. If it's too salt for me, I'm going to show you what, I'm, what to do. If it's not too salt for me and I don't need to do that, I'll tell you what to do. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I have that um, steamer pot, so I'm going to drain my salt fish out in it. I want to keep my garlic and stuff, so I didn't. Um, and then I'm going to use some warm water and just wash it off. If you're not tough like me, this is cooked pretty good. If you're not tough like me, cut it up on a cutting board. Okay, so what I want to tell you to do, how to get the salt out of your salt fish. I'm not going to do it because I don't need to do it. Because my salt fish is good right now as it is, just by two boils. And this was the one without skin. You have some with skin, it's still good. Actually, I prefer the one with skin. So anyways, what you're going to do, if after you break up your salt fish like that or cut it up, whatever you do, if it's still salty and you want it less salt, add some more water to the pot. And just like you have your, your salt fish break up like this, put this in this and put it on the stove to boil for like a just a five minutes. You can do if you don't have one of these pots, because I got this at Walmart for like $14. It's not the best spot to be honest with you. I can't cook certain things in it, but it's good for things like this. And metal strainer would work better. So a metal strainer, break up your salt fish, put it in a metal strainer, and put it in the pot with the water on the stove and let it boil for like five minutes. That way you'll get out all the salt that you want. Don't let it boil too long because trust me, you can lose all your salt and you don't want to lose all your salt. Otherwise you'd have bought fresh fish, right? Put some water in any pot at all. Get your metal strainer and break up your salt fish on in your metal strainer. Add, put the water on the stove to boil. Put your strainer in there for like five minutes and all the salt will be gone. If you don't understand, let me know. I have more salt fish I can actually do a demonstration for you guys but that should be simple so what i'm going to do now is get ready to cook down my ake my salt fish so this is i bought this on amazon if i was in jamaica i wouldn't use this i only use this in foreign i've never used this in jamaica at all when i'm in jamaica i go and i buy a dozen or so ake and i make but since i'm not in jamaica i bought this linstead market jamaica ake i bought it on amazon it's like 13 dollars I'm pretty sure you can find it anywhere on Amazon. I'm going to fry up everything now. I'm going to show you guys how I fry it up. Um, if you get the real aki, it's done a little different from this because then you have to boil those aki. And what I usually do 
when I have the real ackee, I boil, I boil my saltfish once, throw up the water and then boil my saltfish again with the ackee in it so the ackee get the saltiness from the saltfish and it come out perfect. But since I'm using this, this is the second time I'm using can. The first, no, this is the third time I'm using can. My mom brought some from Canada. So I used that can. I really liked that. It was like whole ackee. They weren't mashed up. And then I used the, then I bought the gray swan on Amazon. And I would not recommend a gray swan on Amazon. It's like freaking milk. It's like smoothie. It's mashed up. Trust me, it's a waste of money. So no, this is the first time I'm going to try this. I don't know how it looks. I haven't opened it. I don't i've never used it before so you guys will be experiencing um what it's like because it's nice when your ackees are solid you want them solid so by the time you stir to mix everything it will break in a little so one piece will probably break in three or four but it won't mash out you don't want to cook your ackee too soft so it mash out like butter that's not what you're looking for i'm just talking so much this is why i can't take this is why i can't make a minute tiktok video doing a recipe because yeah i can quickly do a video and cut out pieces and just show you me cooking it and say screenshot the flavors and all that but when i do that i feel like i'm not i'm still not telling you i'm telling you the ingredients but i'm still i'm still not telling you the procedure of how i do it so i get it tasting good i don't just want you to throw seasoning together and make it i want to show you how it tastes real 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 good may a girl okay and cook my country girl so let's go deal with the ackee and the saltfish. You can now. use any oil that you have. I'm using some coconut oil. 100% pure Luana organic coconut oil. Just use any oil you have. So at this point, I have some stuff cut up. I have some tomato, I have some onion, I have some bell peppers, green, yellow, and orange bell pepper. I don't have scotch bonnet, otherwise, I'll use some. So, what I'm going to use is some red red crushed pepper that's what i'm going to use that's going to be my main of that's going to be my main of pepper because i like pepper if you don't like the spice keep the pepper but i'm going to just put these in here the pot is not hot as yet but you can put them in there before your pot hot or put them in there when your pot hot it doesn't really matter it's up to you how you like your vegetable i don't like mine too soft so i just make this fry to like medium then I add my salt fish to it. So it's gonna be cooked just right for me by the time I get the ackee and everything. It's your vegetable cook to your likings. This is just my likings. Another thing I would add is skeleton if I have. If I had skeleton, I would definitely add skeleton. I know some people would add thyme. If you like thyme, add what you like. I really only like thyme in like meat that's gonna cook long, like curry goat. And I also like thyme in like rice and peas. I don't like it in these things. Honestly, a lot of Jamaicans just cook it pepper, scallion, onion, and tomato. A lot of them don't use green pepper and bell pepper, any color bell pepper. If you don't have bell pepper, just skip that. Use what you like. What's the use in putting in scallion if you don't eat scallion? I mean, I eat scallion, I just don't have none. But you know what I'm saying, right? Usually when you're making aki, the only thing you're going to add is black pepper and a little salt if you want it it shouldn't want any because the salt fish should be salt enough but if you mistakenly boil it out like i've done before then you can add back a little salt but basically it's just black pepper after this is cooked down not even ketchup or not like five minutes into frying and i'm going to add this you remember this the salt fish i'm going to add it into this right i already add my little crushed pepper I already add my crushed pepper so i'm just gonna stir this in this way see i still have my pimento seed and my garlic in there but they're boiled out especially the garlic stir this up and let the salt fish fry up in there and i'm gonna do this for the next five minutes i'm gonna fry it up on high and by the time i when i next time i come back then you're going to see me with my aki aki smells so good i wish you guys could smell it it's bad and you guys you know when how to save your pots don't use too much don't use any metal spoon in there and when you use board spoon don't scrape the bottom especially if something is sticking and the best thing the perfect thing rubber spoons perfect spoons are rubber spoons nothing it's not scratching anything it'll take out anything good firm rubber spoons so I cut and drain my ackee. I drain it through this. 
and it's not bad it's some of them are big enough I just have to be careful not to break them out anymore so all I'm going to do is just add my ackee to my salt fish wish you guys could smell this then I'm going to add a little black pepper I don't know why I just said baking powder after you add your black pepper you just stir this is great time to use a rubber spoon because it just slides under it so you don't have to even touch them to break them up so this is great for your rubber spoon I kind of like this ackee. I'll buy it again. It's not, I, you don't have to add anything else to this. This is done. You just let this fry up a little and let kind of let the water from the ackee dry out. Because even though you're straining the ackee, you know they've been soaking in the water. So one little dry out, not gonna, not gonna, one little drain, not gonna drain all the water. So put it on high, put it on high heat for about five minutes and let it dry up for about three to five minutes and let all the water dry up you don't want to stick into the pot or anything you want your little grease you want your little this oil. is five minutes later look at that my ackee and salt fish is ready you notice my ackee not broke up no more than me got it that's how me got it and that's how me cook it because this rubber spoon is like amazing it can slide under anything without breaking it up it just bounce off of it but look at that ackee and salt fish get into that ackee and salt fish if you're not get into that ackee and salt fish what you're doing with your life get into that ackee and salt fish so the next time you see me i'm gonna have it on plate with some food because i'm hungry it's what 219 and i have ate all day so i'm gonna taste i'm gonna do a taste test because i'm trying it I'm, i taste the salt fish and it tastes good because i had to taste the salt fish to see if it's salt enough or if it's too fresh so I taste the sauce, but I haven't tasted ackee and sausage together because I don't want to spoil. I want to give you guys a real taste. All right. So look at the ackee and salt fish. Look there. I like a lot of salt fish in my ackee and I cook it just that way. Ain't that the bomb? Whoa! Look at that. Oh, look at that. Plantain. Turn plantain. Pumpkin. Real Jamaican pumpkin. Not squash. Real Jamaican pumpkin. I'm planting dumpling. I see the specks are planting in that dumpling. Look at that. Whoa, I wish I could give you all some. I swear you guys would just not want to go to your yard. Okay, so it's time to taste. Here we go. My first taste. Mm. Bye. Go try it for yourself. Bye.